Pablo and Rock's Sporting Challenge. Who will win? Pablo is rubbish. Rock is worse. They're like two baby foal stumbling around with no power over their own bodies, challenging each other in the ultimate sporting conquest. Who will win? Pablo and Rock's Sporting Challenge. Who will win? Well, Rock, it is time for round six. That's right, week six of the Sporting Challenge. Rock versus Pablo. Tennis, this is how it happened. Here we are down at the Karatha Tennis Courts in Bolgara with uh, tennis. Best of uh, one set, first to six, tie break five all. May the best man win. Rourke won the uh, toss and is going to serve from the northern end. All right, underway. Double fault to start with. Rourke's up well, scaring him. Love 15. We'll send all the balls up there. He might need a few more. Mind you, we haven't seen Pablo serve yet, so we don't know. Oh, gone for the killer forehand and uh, failed dismally. Hope you're not going to use the... Uh, the knees and all the padding is an excuse, Pablo. Oh, the old drop shot. Ah, <laughs> unlucky. Rook had the opportunity to go between the legs, just uh, didn't want to do it. Scared. I mean, what's enough Roger Federer? Yeah, good serve, 30 all. Just keep on falling back to the little girly pat to get the second serve in, though, is a bit of a worry. Pablo's going with the drop shots and getting caught short every time. Pablo's going to have to change his idea of this patting the ball back and start hitting some. Put your handbag down, put your handbag down, Pablo, and hit a ball. Oh, backhand. Even better backhand. Oh, first game to Rourke. Draws first blood. Pablo to serve. Oh, 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 we almost had a rally going. Pablo's saving my strings. I should mention they're both using the same racket so that uh, there's no whinging about the rackets. Oh, yes. Nice return. 30, love up. Just long. Woohoo, Pablo got a first serve in. 40, 30 up. Might snatch victory from the jaws of defeat yet. Oh, yes. A game apiece. I feel they're both being very tentative. Just trying to hit the ball over the net instead of uh, playing a stroke. Oh, here we go, we've got a rally going. More than five or six strokes. Deuce. Nice serve. Nice hit. Oh. <laughs> Good rally, about 12 points. And eventually Raw wins, holds on. Juice again. Oh, he got excited, Pablo, when hit it long. Juice again. Oh, God, he's on the line. That was way out. On the line. <laughs> 3-1, look out. You played tennis before? Not as much as Rourke, the champion. Can't go beating him now, under 12 champion. <laughs> Pablo keeps on going with these drop shots. Now he gets them. Think we might see a racket go thrown in a minute. What he love, he sees the kill in sight and he's going for it. Rourke's just patting him back. Pablo four points away from making it. 4-2. Oh! <laughs> he's gone over. Especially hit the ball over the net, not yourself into it. Just tripped over his laces into the net. 40-15. Rourke back in it. Game. 2-5. Gonna have to serve, but not gonna get an easy easy win out of it. Pat by Pablo. Big first serve down the line. Oh yeah, good shot. It's in. Over the head. Oh, he doesn't quite get there. 30-15, two points from victory, Pablo. <laughs> Match point! <laughs> One point from victory. One ball he reckons. Oh, he did too. Gave it away. Rock gave it away. 6-2. Victory to Pablo in a game that never reached great heights. Rock Walsh. I've got to say, Stuart from Karatha Tennis Club, yeah, definitely didn't hold back. Speechless. Oh, That's all I can say. Rock Walsh, now you are, I'm just going to say it for everyone out there, the worst sportsman in the Pilbara. I've said this many weeks in a row, and I think the thing is, you build yourself so much last week. I'm sure the listeners remember, and I'm sure I can remind them later in the show, a little bit of a soundbite you said last week. Something about never losing again, but... You know, no one likes to lose, so why talk about losing? I just like to be a winner, I like to talk about winning, and when I lose, I sulk a little bit, I guess. Now, you were the under-13s champion. We did hear that. Not a lot of champion uh, rallies there. No, Rockwell. tennis has definitely got a, a lot harder than what I remember it being. I used to yeah, think of myself as a bit of a Roger Federer, but <laughs> clearly I was just... I don't even know what... I don't want to talk about it, really. Now, you Can we fa- just cut this now? <laughs> like, no. Nah. You were fairly gutted and fairly dejected. I was a little bit worried for uh, Stuart's, Stuart's tennis tennis rackets, to be honest. Yeah, look, if it was my own racket, I probably would have broken it and it wouldn't have been enough. I would have taken it home and burnt it. But seeing it was Stuart's, I just handed it back gracefully and proceeded to sulk out to the car there, and there go was, home and cry. There was quite a big crowd there in the end uh, down there. We did it on Thursday night. A big crowd ended up turning up and a big crowd got to see... Very few rallies. Look, it was a war of attrition. I'll give myself that much. You know, it was there wasn't too many pretty shots. I didn't exactly sort of, you know, 
have too many chances myself to hit the ball, and likewise, you didn't have too many chances to hit the ball either because we were well, both both pretty good at finding the net <laughs> or the back fence. Now, I did take it out quite convincingly in the end. It was six games too. Look, I went through a phase where I just couldn't find my range at all, and I was getting more and more frustrated, and basically, I don't think I won a point for about three games. You broke me, then you held surf to love, and then you broke me to love again where I was just consistently hitting the ball nowhere near the court (laughs) and the more I hit it out the more frustrated I got and the cycle continued and yeah basically you got out to 5-1 lead managed to claw one game back had a little bit of a look in respect had a little bit of a look in to maybe get a break back but no it wasn't going to happen lost so a massive win there for me I've taken it I've taken up now in the Pablo versus Rock our weekly sporting challenge a big lead mate a massive lead it's now 4-2 you had your chance to even it up 3-3 last week you said you're never going to lose again you've broken that promise to the listeners the listeners are fairly certain I'm fairly certain they're going to be disappointed gutted you were calling yourself the black caviar is if I remember of the Pilbara (laughs) you're just going to keep going back to that aren't you (laughs) the black caviar of the Pilbara black caviar is unbeaten Rock Walsh is well fairly beaten you've been beaten five times four times yeah look I'm not taking it well Um, (laughs) I didn't really want to come in you know, do this this morning. It's been very upsetting, traumatic, <laughs> but uh, I've done it. I've come in. We've spoken about it. We're going to forget it. Move on <laughs> next week. I don't even care what the next challenge is. Well, next just, week, I'm just looking forward to it. No matter what it is, we could be. It could be the most painful, humiliating thing in the world. It'd just be great to get another challenge out of the way and know that. I'm not going to lose. Well, it's not. Fun. Well, you said it again. <laughs> You're giving me another soundbite. Next week, we're going to the Karatha Entertainment Centre with Jenna, a personal trainer. We are going to be doing a boot camp there, I'm sure. You know, I've often used my knees as an excuse, but it hasn't stopped me winning. Oh, <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Spirit. Spirit. Spirit.